Okay, here we are at the uh, the Dunes Golf Links in the Mornington Pen Peninsula outside of Melbourne, and we've been just kind of finishing off 18 holes today. And um, so, guys, what uh, what do you think about this golf course? Um, it's a beautiful golf course. Yeah, it's uh, pretty tough if you, if you hit it in the wrong places. Um, fairways are pretty generous, but if you, if you do get out of out of position, there's some pretty nasty rough and some big bunkers out there to to catch you. Yeah. Any, any particular holes that stands out as your your favourite holes? Um, I mean, I only played it once. So I yeah. can't really mem mem remember too many names, but uh, a, c a couple of the par threes are really beautiful, kind yeah. of framed by the bunkers. I thought were pretty special. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you you guys are just warming up today because something is about to happen tomorrow in the next couple of days. So, so what are you guys up to? Uh, well, we're playing the Dunes medal uh, the next couple of days, an uh, amateur tournament here at the Dunes. There's quite a lot of people playing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there's about 100 people playing in it, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of, it's a four day event, but uh, you're playing kind of two days and there's yeah, a cut? Yeah, it's or? a 72 hole event, so the yeah. cut, cut after the first, first two days, yeah. top, top 40 I think go through. Yeah, and it's one of the bigger kind of amateur it is yeah. in the country, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. it's in the sort of top top five in the country. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It is. A lot of the uh, a lot of the Australian national team players are playing, and okay. I think in the past they've had uh, Jason Day play here, Rory McIlroy. So yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Some so so th this is where the the uh, the stars are born. Hopefully, yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> I need to ask you this. So what's the ambitions for the next couple of days? What what is your targets? Um, I just go out and play as, play as well as you can every day and, and see what happens. If it's good enough, it's good enough. If it's, if it's not, it's not. Yeah, Yeah, I'm just in, in it for the experience, really. I'd just be stoked to make the cut. I'm not planning to, but <laughs> see what happens. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, but I think it was the wrong answer from both of you. <laughs> winning. The win. it's, it's the winning. <laughs> and do, as you said, do as good as you can and yeah. uh, hopefully it takes you a long way yeah <laughs> so thanks for today cheers, and, and good you. luck yeah, tomorrow thank you. thank you very much thanks yeah. cheers yeah Hundred and seven meters approach shot, and uh, there's plenty, plenty of pretty deep bunkers between me and the ball. So this is going to be an eight iron. I don't want to be short. Uh, we are at the fifth hole. And it's a blind tee shot. I need to carry this sand dune and watch out for the bunkers on the left hand side but it's about 250 260 meters to those guys so it shouldn't be an issue for me 
and uh, well protected green way up there so it's going to be a driver and we'll see what position we have keep it right of the bunkers and the seventh par five uh, kind of blind tee shot up through the gap keeping it slightly to the left because there's supposed to be a, a bunker called Tom Watson behind that gap somewhere about 250 meters out so should maybe not be an issue for me today but uh, we'll see a different angle on the seventh you can see the fairway still can't see the Tom Watson bunker supposed to be to the right of the fairway here's the uh, Tom Watson bunker about 30 meters short that's a good thing and the approach shot it's actually par 5 so I have two shots to get up on that green so that should be an opportunity First birdie of the day. Good one. We've left about 400 meters, and uh, it's bunkers all on the left hand side. So it's just a matter of how much you dare to cut off and how long you can carry over those bunkers. I think it's about 170 meters to carry to the first one and then about 200 meters carry something to the, the, the one on the left hand side so where the guys are in the middle it seems to be a good position to me and we'll see if we can make that Yeah, good one. 
Uh, here we are at the dunes and golf links um, the Mornington Peninsula just outside of Melbourne, Australia uh, I think um, today was a really pleasant surprise for me and I didn't have uh, any real uh, kind of assumption or expectations about this golf course but uh, it, it's certainly a pleasant surprise and uh, I think it's a lovely inland links course yes the ocean is pretty close and you do have the sand dunes but it's not really by the ocean so it, it, it's a really nice golf course i think uh, in general uh quite uh, generous fairways uh guarded by a number of different bunkers and you do have a number of dog leg holes as well and kind of semi-blind tee shots so uh the, the it may sound like a cliche these days, but putting the ball in position is exactly what you need to do and, and uh, play the course smart. Uh, of course, uh, the wind will determine how difficult it will, will be and um, today it was totally calm. Uh, no wind at all, not even a little breeze. So, uh, a wasn't that difficult today but it's it's still not the piece of cake you need you need to really think about how you're playing this golf course uh, i think it's a golf course that can be enjoyed by many uh, kind of all different kind of players the good ones down to the uh, all the other ones so it's a very enjoyable golf course i it's a lot of people here today and uh, they're having this uh, big medal amateur tournament going on over the next four days so people are practicing and and playing the golf course and knowing all the little kind of bits and pieces of the golf course so it's a lot of young uh, players today which I think is, it's lovely to see and it's encouraging and um, just shows the golf interest in Australia and in particular with the young guys and, and girls as well so I think it's about a hundred uh, men playing and uh, about 80 women or, or so so it's, it's a big tournament uh, I think again uh, this was a pleasant surprise and I really enjoyed it today I played uh, fairly well today as well and having in mind I play from where the guys are going to play the competition so 37 on, on the front nine one over par so that's very good and then we have four, four, so a 39 on the uh, back nine, which gives us 76 in total. I'm very pleased with that today and I uh, started to strike the ball pretty good, in particular with the irons. And my three iron was doing some magic today. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. And. Um, Again, I think uh, there's plenty of golf courses down in the uh, sand belt in the Mornington Peninsula and uh, I think definitely the Dunes Golf Links is the one to, to visit. I'm going to play two other ones tomorrow and the day after but uh, I think my experience today was just an extremely pleasant one and I can do recommend people to come and play this golf course. You will enjoy it. Mm -hmm.